Since 2009, the Tupolev Design Bureau has been hard at work with PAKDA, a Russian-made new generation strategic bomber. The aircraft will be a large platform, complete with radar-absorbing materials for stealth technology, capable of carrying over 30 tons of nuclear ordnance and flying at subsonic flight speeds. According to the established time frame, the aircraft will align with the emergence of the United States B-21 stealth bomber, its design counterpart. However, with a lousy record in stealth technology, many believe the upcoming program is just another vanity project for Russia and question whether the Tupolev PAKDA Prospective Aviation Complex for long-range aviation could rival the American B-21. It might take another decade to find out, but the evidence points toward a revolutionary concept that might surprise the entire world. That is, if it even exists. Russian Stealth Bomber The United States has been the industry leader in the development of stealth aircraft programs for decades. Going back to the Cold War era, American warplane manufacturers have continued to push the envelope with the stealthy SR-71, F-117, B-2, F-22, and F-35 aircraft. The next step in such technology is a modern stealth bomber aircraft, a top-secret project still in its development phase. Northrop Grumman's mysterious B-21 Raider an advanced long-range heavy payload intercontinental stealth bomber is on the verge of making its maiden flight and is expected to enter service in the mid to late 2020s. Today, two more nations have stealth bomber programs in development. While China's stealth aviation development has relied on expensive espionage to complete their first stealth bomber, the H-20, the model remains in prototype mode. Meanwhile, Russia might be closer than initially thought to developing and finishing their first stealthy bomber. The development of Russia's next-generation long-range strategic bomber dates all the way back to the late 1990s, when the nation was still recovering from the crash of the Soviet Union. Still, it wasn't until December of 2007 that the Russian Air Force issued the first series of tactical and technical requirements for a new strategic bomber. On September 3, 2009, the Russian Defense Ministry awarded the legendary Tupolev Design Bureau a three-year research and development contract for the new long-range bomber. And according to TASS, Russia's leading news agency, the nation has begun construction of its first strategic stealth bomber called Prospective Aviation Complex for Long-Range Aviation, or PAKDA. The aircraft is expected to be able to hide from even the most state-of-the-art radars. PAKDA Early reports indicated that the PAKDA's design would be based on the supersonic Tupolev Tu-160 strategic heavy bomber first introduced in 1987. However, more updated information on the secretive program, including a televised address from then Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, implied that it would be an entirely new design intended to serve the Russian Air Force as a long-range, low-observable strategic bomber. The PAKDA's actual combat capabilities and design features won't be fully known until the aircraft enters service. As such, the data can be subject to both intentional propaganda or unintentional misconceptions with translation and other factors. Still, according to the TASS agency, the PAKDA design concept revolves around the aircraft's ability to fly at stratospheric altitudes of up to 164,000 feet and heavy payload capabilities and will make use of widely employed radar-absorbing materials to avoid enemy air defenses. It is said that the new bomber might be similar in design to America's B-21 Raider and, according to the government-owned agency, could exceed its counterpart's abilities. Instead of surpassing the speed of sound during missions, the Russian bomber will remain subsonic and will rely on its low observability to evade the enemy. However, reports on the payload capabilities of the PAKDA vary significantly. With a likely crew of four people, the bomber is expected to carry up to 30 tons of ordnance compared to the 15 of the B-21. Also, as stated by TASS, quote, 
The PAKDA is expected to deploy KH-102 nuclear-tipped stealthy cruise missiles and a number of newer hypersonic designs, including derivatives of the KH-47M2. This large payload capacity might be why Russian officials have constantly claimed that the new stealth bomber will exceed the capabilities of its American counterpart. Stealth Capabilities The ultimate goal of the upcoming stealth bombers is not only to elude all surveillance radar systems, but also to evade higher frequency, precise radars. This capability will ensure the platform will not only be difficult or impossible to hit, but also remain entirely undetected for the entirety of the mission. Despite being influenced by an American design, the PAKDA bomber is said to be limited by Russia's ability to mass-produce stealth aircraft with the extremely tight production requirements that such technology needs. And it is no secret that Russia's stealth technology has been widely considered to be far behind its American and Chinese competition. While the United States programs have prioritized stealth for years, Russian engineers believe that it is only one of many important elements, even at the expense of more conventional goals like speed or maneuverability. As an example, the country's only operational stealth fighter, the Sukhoi Su-57, is the least stealthy fifth-generation aircraft of its type in service today. And conventional wisdom points to Russia's PAKDA suffering the same fate as its stealth siblings. What's more, according to the aircraft's fiercest critics, the bomber might not even have stealth capabilities, claiming that the bomber will use long-range munitions to carry out missions, all without ever leaving the protective range of Russian air defense systems. The future. To this day, the Russian team claims to have completed a full-size wooden mock-up, as well as full-scale models of several potential cockpit layouts and smaller composite models for wind tunnel testing. According to the 2020 Russian newspaper Izvestia's report, three prototypes of the stealth bomber will be ready for preliminary testing by the spring of 2023, followed by government tests three years later. With an expected due date of 2027 for the stealth bomber to enter production, and the United States, China, and Russia all planning to field new low-observable bombers, the 2030s look to be the most crowded the skies will have been in decades. Still, Western critics on the PAKDA project wonder if the platform will ever see the light of day. Due to an ongoing reorganization of the Russian Air Force's current bomber fleet, including the announcement of a stealth fighter and an already standing order of Su-57s, the Russian Defense Ministry will most likely procure only a small number of PAKDA bombers in the beginning. What's more, upgraded Tu-160 blackjacks are currently in production, and with a hefty price tag of $270 million each, these long-range supersonic bombers, capable of carrying 88,000 pounds of weaponry and traveling at speeds in excess of Mach 2, might become the priority in the years to come. With a long-documented and troubled history with stealth platforms and funding issues, Russia's claims that the forthcoming PAKDA will roll into production by the end of the decade are highly questionable, but only time will tell if they will surprise the aviation world or if the project will become another in a long line of underwhelming endeavors. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like it and share it with a friend. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And to learn more about the future of the defense industry, subscribe to this and all the channels in the Dark Documentaries family. See you next time.